Hello, Hadaka Guy here. In this video, I'd like to take a few moments and discuss the different styles of power ports that are available that you can utilize in your builds, uh, specifically the differences between the US style cigarette lighter ports, uh, both automotive and marine, and the European style power lit ports. Uh, talk a little bit about the pluses and minuses of each and maybe when you would want to use one over the other. And then at the end of the video, talk uh, just a little bit about USB charging ports and the differences between USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Okay, let's start out by taking a quick look at what most of us in the United States are most familiar with, and that is the standard automotive grade cigarette lighter plug. If you buy any 12 volt accessory in the United States, more than likely it's going to come uh, with an end like this on it. And that is because most all the vehicles in the United States are sold with standard cigarette lighter sockets um, built into them. So this is a standard automotive grade cigarette lighter socket. You can see it's got a smooth uh, outer wall, which is your ground. And then in the base there, the center pin is your positive uh, feed, your 12 volt connector. And when you slide this, uh, this cigarette lighter connector plug into the uh, socket there, these outer pins here are spring-loaded. Those provide the ground. And then this center pin, which is spring-loaded, is your positive connector. There's a major flaw with this style of uh, connector, and most anybody that's used one of these has, uh, has dealt with it. And that is when you slide this in and make that connection and, say, start charging your cell phone, um, it takes very little effort to get this to slide back out far enough that this center pin right here is no longer making contact with the 12 volt pin in the bottom and it stops charging. So if there's too much weight on this cord, if you bump this cord, if you're traveling down a washboard road and there's a lot of vibration, this will just slowly work its way out far enough that it no longer makes contact and it stops charging. And you'll look down and notice your phone's not charging and you got to reach down and shove the uh, plug all the way down into the uh, socket again. So not the most reliable connection in the world, kind of uh, not the best design. So that's fine when you're dealing with things like cell phones where it's not a big deal if it stops charging and you can just catch it. But when you start uh, dealing with stuff like a 12 volt compressor refrigerator, like an ice chest style refrigerator, and you need that 100% uh, reliability, the last thing you want to do is pull into camp late at night and uh, discover that earlier that day your refrigerator turned off uh, due to a poor connection and everything inside your refrigerator is warm. So we'll look at the next one we'll look at is actual actually the plug that it came on my Dometic uh, 12 volt refrigerator, my little chest style refrigerator. And you can see uh, Dometic. This is their uh, version of a cigarette lighter plug to solve the problems we just talked about on the cheaper units over there. And what they've done is they have increased the spring effort quite a bit on these grounding pins here. And then they added this red rubber, um, basically it's a, a bushing on the front that creates a tighter fit. So now when you slide this in, instead of just having two points of contact, you have four points of contact inside the socket and it, it uh, allows for a lot uh, more secure fit. It's a nice snug fit. And just like the other one, this is a spring-loaded uh, 12 volt pin on the nose there. So when I slide this into the same socket, it takes quite a bit more effort now when I start pulling before I can get that to move. I'd say it's probably double the effort of the uh, the cheap connector down there. So it is a large, a big improvement, you know, a large gain over the cheap plug, but it's still not quite as secure as I would like for something like my refrigerator where I, where I really don't want this uh, coming loose as we travel down the road. Um, so then there's a couple other options. In most of my builds, I replace all of the stock OEM uh, cigarette sockets in my dash. Uh, with a Blue Seas Marine style cigarette lighter uh, cigarette plug or socket. Um, these are, are quite a bit better than the standard automotive grade ones. So when you look at there again at the automotive grade here on the right, you can see it's just smooth walls where the Marine unit has these indents on each side of it. 
Those indents help those grounding pins lock into this socket and keep them from vibrating loose as you travel down the road. So when I take this same socket here and I push it into that, you can feel it lock into place. Now when I start pulling on it, there again, it probably takes double the effort again that it took on the stock one, uh, on the stock US um, cigarette lighter socket to get this to pop out. So those little locking tabs there make a big difference in helping to grab this plug and keep it secure. So in my builds, I also put like right now I'm, I'm building a sprinter van. I put several of these in the back of our vehicle uh, just for miscellaneous power ports. Um, they work great for um, cell phone chargers. These small ones like cell phone chargers like this that's got the little spring-loaded uh, ball bearings uh, for the grounding pins work great in this. You push it in, you twist it, you can feel it lock in, and you've got a nice solid connection that I can pull pretty strongly on and it stays in place. So uh, this setup here will not vibrate loose going down the road. You don't have to worry about your cell phone uh, you know, not charging. So uh, great upgrade over the OEM cigarette lighter ports that uh, come on most vehicles. I'll put some links in the descriptions down below to these products, but uh, to Amazon, but these are also available at any marine supply store. I uh, usually carry these uh, Blue Seas products. There's a couple other brands, but I've been very happy with the Blue Seas products over the years. Um, they've always got a real high quality product and they always work really well. Um, the other style of product uh, of connector that I wanted to touch on is the Powerlet uh, connector. This is more of a European standard. Uh, a lot of uh, motorcycles use these for heated gearing. BMW motorcycles come stock with these. Um, they, they approach it a little differently. So you've got the same grounding pins around the outside. And then the center pin, instead of being spring loaded, is fixed. And it's got a pointed uh, tip on it. And then it's got this recessed groove on the, uh, on the shaft there. And that works in conjunction with the powerlet socket. And when you look at the socket down in there, you'll see that there's two little prongs. That's your positive connector, or your positive pin down there on the bottom. And basically when you push this uh, male connector down into the socket, those, those prongs push out and then they snap. They're spring-loaded, they snap into that groove right there and grab onto the socket. So it makes a very secure connection. So I'll go ahead and open this uh, socket up and we'll push it in. You'll hear it snap into place. And once it snaps into place, I mean, I can pull quite quite a bit of pressure on that now, and it's very rigid. So you don't have to worry about this accidentally uh, coming loose uh, as you travel down the road. It's a really, really nice setup. Um, what I end up doing on my refrigerators on my last build, and I'll be doing it on this build as well, is I will just remove this uh, plug here completely, and I will replace it with uh, powerlet 90 degree uh, powerlet uh, male plug. So the, I like this setup. I've got a powerlet port already installed in my van for this purpose. Uh, when I plug this connector in, it snaps in. It's nice and secure. The 90 degree plug allows the cable to hang tightly to the wall so it's not sticking out where it's going to catch on something. Um, just makes a really good connection uh, for stuff like the refrigerator that you really want to make sure that you're not going to accidentally lose uh, power as you travel down the road. So highly recommend those. They're, uh, uh, they're again, a, a great uh, product to, uh, to carry with you. And this uh, cord over here that I've been using to demo, that's actually an adapter. So it's got a power lid on one end and the cigarette uh, connection on the other end. So if you have uh, a need to adapt over to that, you know, these, these are available as well. I've used that for some of my motorcycle travels in the past. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on real quick is just the USB chargers that I've used in my past builds and kind of uh, the change in what I'm doing currently going forward. And that is in the past, I've used these Blue Seas uh, 4.8 amp or USB 2.0 uh, chargers. They fit in the same hole that uh, the, the uh, cigarette lighter style uh, ports fit into. Um, 
it's it's a nice solution. You know, you don't have to have adapters. You just plug it in. Uh, you're ready to go. It's got a very low parasitic draw. They're only one milliamp uh, for a parasitic draw on these, uh, which is nice. The downside is most phones nowadays are moving into USB-C and USB 3.0, which is a little higher current than uh, this particular unit will provide. So this unit, um, although it charges uh, phones still, uh, you know, fairly quickly, it does not do a very good job charging things like tablets, uh, iPads, etc. So what I've done now is instead of installing these permanently in the vans or in my builds, I just install these uh, marine uh, cigarette lighter ports like we've seen in the past. And that allows you to run any combination of uh, chargers that, uh, you know, as new chargers come out, as improvements get made, you just upgrade your charger and use the same power port. Um, currently, this one that I demoed here a little while ago, uh, this is a Hustle brand. It's a USB 3.0, 36 watt charger. So it'll do uh, three amps per side, six watts to or six amps total. Um, this will charge... Uh, phones that are capable of fast charging, like some of the Android devices, uh, really well. It charges my uh, Samsung uh, Note uh, very quickly. Uh, works great for iPads and tablets as well. It's all metal, doesn't take up much space. Uh, there again, it, it snaps into these uh, marine style uh, plugs really nicely. So just makes a, a great little charge port. You can also get ones of these that are USB-C if you're charging with USB-C. So you just have a lot more flexibility and greater options as technologies uh, improve and uh, outputs improve. Uh, it's just easy to upgrade. You just swap this part out and this part uh, remains the same. So I'm no longer installing the uh, Blue Seas built-in USB chargers. Although if you still need a 2.4, if that's adequate, then then uh, these are good units and it's always a nice option to have. So anyways, uh, that is a quick overview of uh, the different styles of power ports and maybe why you want to use, uh, say, a power lit uh, for things like a refrigerator instead of a cigarette lighter socket. Um, if you'd like to tune in to, or you can uh, follow me on these videos, uh, subscribe down below. I'll be doing some more of these uh, videos here in the near future uh, with other tools and products that I'm using uh, as we build out our van. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Hodaka Guy Tom, where I post uh, pictures of our builds and pictures of our travels. So I hope you found this video useful and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.